exactly 4.41. Sorry for the lighting. Also, we have all of our ACs running, so. Before anyone comes at me saying, no, you don't wake up this early. Yes, I do. Every morning I wake up and I make Chase breakfast, pack his lunch, make coffee for work. So I'm really tired. What? So what? Yeah. You weren't me. Yeah. In life, I'm me working for my blue collar man. Yeah. Chase, do I wake up every morning and make you breakfast? Yes, you do. And coffee. Coffee? And I pack your lunch. Because I know some people are going to be in the comments right away going, there's no way you wake up this early. Yes, I do. Ask some of his coworkers who've stayed with us. <laughs> All right, Kina, you ready? even know if you can even see me, but he said good morning. It's a madhouse here in the morning, so we're gonna head back to work because during ship change, it's a madhouse. So let's go back to the camper now. All right, so it, it is now 6.10. Sometimes he just takes himself and I'll stay here at the camper and do stuff here all day, but we gotta do some errands today. Kina, what are you, you going crazy? Look at your hair. Now, I know some people are gonna say, well, don't you go back to sleep? No, because I used to go back to sleep, but then I'd wake up feeling just horrible. I now just stay awake and just get stuff done and then I'll go to sleep whenever he goes to sleep type thing. So the agenda for today, is Costco doesn't open until 10. So we're gonna try to get some stuff done before then. I don't need a bunch of stuff. We just used up the last bit of coffee and that is a priority. What I do in the morning is I'll read for about probably about an hour or so just to kind of like wake myself up. I'm trying to get better at reading in the morning time is just kind of the best time to do it. So we're gonna read, we're gonna work out, make a grocery list. I'm gonna try to get some editing done. Branson video, I'm hoping to finish it today. We have to leave the camper by five to go pick up Chase. He gets off at six. It doesn't take long to get to the plant, but I like to try to get there a little bit early because it can get kind of crazy between shifts and stuff. So I try to beat the rush. That's kind of the plan for today. I know, so exciting. In all honesty, this is what majority of our life looks like. Some days it's doing massive amounts of laundry for Chase's work clothes. Sometimes it's doing maybe maybe a camper project, or I do want to try to clean a little bit of the camper. Maybe it will do the windows today. I try to do at least one thing a day, like cleaning wise with a camper. That's not like a daily clean, like dishes and stuff. So that way it's just easier to stay on top of everything. <laughs> He's already passed out. I hope this is encouraging that RV life is not always going out and doing stuff as much as I would love to. Oh, I also want to say that this is the first job this year that I'm able to drop Chase off from work and use the truck. At the beginning of the year, the two different plants that we were at, because of how security is, you have to go through a security gate and then you go into the plant. Here, I don't have to do that. I can drop Chase off at the parking lot. Because of that, I learned how to start doing YouTube stuff because I was stuck there all day. I couldn't go anywhere. Let's get stuff done. All right, so the sun is starting to come up. Sorry, it's still dark. Look how pretty. Hopefully you can see it. it's kind of hard. Anyway, sun's coming up. So I'm going to go 
work out. We got these rucking sacks. No, this is not sponsored in any way. We got these rucking bags probably a year or so ago. Well, maybe a little under a year. I have the one that's more like a vest type thing. We just put the weight on. I have a 10 pound weight on mine. Chase has um, one that's more like a backpack. He has a heavier weight and his, I think his is like 20 pounds or something. We are going, oh, we. I'm gonna go work out. The RV park here has like a parking lot with asphalt strips. I usually walk that in the mornings. No, you're not gonna watch me work out because no one needs to see that. It is currently 7.01. Yeah, we'll do that. And then I'll show you what else we do to work out in the camper. I mean, yes, it is 10 pounds and it is like Chase's is 20 pounds, but this does not take up space at all compared to, I mean, like it's literally strapped on my back. I don't run. I'm not a runner. I don't like running. I just do more of a fast walk. So we'll be right back in a little bit. Do you have the zoomies? You're going crazy. Oh my gosh, boy. <laughs> Tell our friends you went for a walk, saw some squirrels. Yeah. All right, so I walked for a good bit and then grabbed him and we went down to the lake. It's, it's like a, there's a few rivers that run into this lake and it's nice right here at the RV park. So we go down there. I try to go before a lot of people show up. <laughs> Look at your hair. You're so cute. We made a RV with dog video and we talked about this harness. This is from Nowhere I'm Not Sponsored, Everwolf. It has this like reflectic strips and stuff and it actually glows in the evening. After we made that video, maybe like a few weeks later or a month later, we were able to get a discount code. So if you use, I think it's Sparks15, you can get 15% off. We don't get any money if you use the code. We are not sponsored, we're not getting paid for them. We don't make any money from this whatsoever, whatever you do with it. They have these harnesses and they fit really well. They have them different sizes. They also have some really other fun harnesses and stuff as well. They have a collar that has the Reflectic stuff as well. And they also have it in like a purple, the harness in a purple color with the Reflectic. If you have a dog, I really honestly think everyone needs to have a harness that's like this, just on a safety set side. Hit him. You're so stinking cute. He's such a mess. So I just wanted to share that because I keep forgetting to share that with y'all. So again, not sponsored or in, in any way. Another thing that we do for, or I do at least for working out, I do have some Pilates equipment. And this is the, I've heard people call it the Ring of Fire Pilates ring. It doesn't weigh, I don't even think it weighs a pound to be quite honest. And it's kind of like a resistance type thing. And I, I got this at TJ Maxx, I think, but I'm sure you can get them on Amazon or really anywhere. And I do have a few yoga mats. Chase and I both have our own yoga mat. We have a yoga block. I do have one resistant band, but that's pretty much it because we have a lot of floor space here in this camper. I'll just Google Pilates workout on YouTube and find a video I like and I'll do that. Just because one, it's easier for me to do that than to try to find a studio. I am going to do some Pilates stuff. No, I am not going to record any of it because let's be honest, it's probably more gonna be of a comedy show than anything. Yeah, I'm already whooped out, but that's good. All right, so we got the dishes done. Oh, sorry, it's so, take my hat off so y'all can see me for a second. Eh. Let's put that back on. Made some smoothies. I try to make big batches of smoothie, like a big smoothie. And then I have some to-go containers that came with our Vitamix that I'll put extra in there and then Chase will take that to work the next few days. I had mine and a little bit of breakfast. Worked out, made a grocery list. We're gonna go to Costco. We don't need that much food. I know some of y'all are probably thinking, Bryce, we care less what you do during the day. We wanna know what Chase does during the day. No fear. When Chase gets off this evening, I'll have him tell you all that he does during work. If you have any questions, leave them below. We wanna be able to help as many people as possible when it comes to this, because we know this is very different for our other RVers. So, Kenai is not going to come with us. Sad day. Let's go to Costco. You're so pathetic. You're so pathetic. Welcome to our Costco haul. 
I thought I would share with you a few things. Considering it was mid-October, there was actually quite a lot of camping gear that was still there. We didn't buy anything, we didn't need anything, but I just wanted to share this with y'all. Especially the solo stove, that was a pretty good deal. As well as some of the other heating, outdoor heating items that they had. We get all of our batteries from Costco as well. They usually have a pretty good deal on flashlights and headlamps. We bought some in the past from Costco and we love them. We highly recommend getting all your batteries, flashlights, headlamps at Costco. Even though I only came for food, I try to go and see what they have in their seasonal section because you just never know. I was shocked that they still had some camping chairs that actually look pretty nice. This wagon, we actually got a wagon from Costco a few years ago. It's great. It's really heavy duty and it's been holding up really well. So if you need a wagon, I suggest getting it at Costco because from what I've seen, the one that I have is pretty similar and it's been holding up really well. Also, these pies look awesome. No, I didn't get one. Also, the dog stuff's always fun. No, I didn't get it. All right, so I did the no-no. We are back in the camper. So I was in Costco and Chase texted me saying that it was super windy at work and asked me if I had put the awning in. And I had totally forgot. I'm usually pretty good about closing it, but it just did not cross my mind. So thankfully the awning is good. It's all fine. I mean, I pulled it in just in case when we got back, but I mean, it's fine, nothing's wrong with it. So learn from my mistake. Anytime we leave, we always close the awning because one, you just never know. And it's just good to have it closed and peace of mind and everything. What do you want? What do you want? So this is our Costco haul minus uh, some frozen fruit in the freezer and sparkling water and coconut water in the truck. I'm going to put all this away and I think edit. Are you gonna help me put Oh, oh, thank you. Are you gonna help me put the, um, rude? It's a little after 12. All right, let's put this away. All right, so that's all done. Made myself a sandwich. It's funny cause like, oh, slow down. It's funny cause like I never buy bread, but I somehow got a bunch of different jellies. Get some bread, I can at least like start eating this, these jellies. So that's what we're gonna have for lunch today. Yeah, you're just gonna chill. It's not too bad, but I think we're gonna eat lunch outside. It's too hot to do any work outside because I don't want to heat up my laptop. Literally from now until I pick up Chase, we'll be editing. I've had people ask in the past like what I used to do before YouTube and stuff. I've worked a couple jobs with Chase as his helper. And then before that, I was trying to develop my food photography blog type stuff because when we first moved into the camper, I was still running my food business and I would do private orders, but I also do a farmer's market. So that took up a good chunk of the first maybe six months of RV life. And then trying to do like recipe development, food photography stuff. Then I worked with Chase on a couple jobs and now doing this. So we are going to eat lunch and yeah. So I just wanted to share that with y'all because people ask me all the time, what do you do? Now you know. All right, so it's 5.10, I think is what it is. We are gonna go pick up Chase. It's, we'll get there a little bit earlier. I wanted to leave a few minutes earlier, but that didn't happen, that's okay. Today, we're gonna have leftovers for dinner. I try to have dinner done whenever Chase gets done from work. Spent the last however many hours between then and now on editing and got majority of it done. I still have a little bit more, but I think I'll still be able to push it out when I want to. I'm pretty tired, to be quite honest. I feel like this day would never end. So we are gonna go get Chase. He'll tell you what he did at work today. How was work, babe? Good. How was y'all's day? Good. Good. Did you get some Costco pizza? No, I didn't. Sorry. P-Y. <laughs> Little back legs. <laughs> He's so funny. He and I.
what you get to look forward to when you come home from work. We have a new toy. <laughs> <laughs> well, we actually, so we needed a, a longer sewer hose for here. What? We needed a longer sewer hose for yes. here. Because these are junk. Chase got this one at Walmart, the one we wanted. But he bought two of them. But both of them had that attached to it and you couldn't take it off. So I had to order online one without the connector thing. Man, look how awesome that is. The only time you can do this. <sighs> <laughs> don't try this at home. Don't, don't do it after you get it. <laughs> Nice. That was awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> How was work? Good. Worked on a bezzy tank today on the outside of it. Well built up. Quite a bit of low spots. So yeah. did that and grinded a bunch. Nothing to it. Just another day. Ran an automatic MIG machine as well, which is cool. But other than that, pretty easy, straightforward day. Yeah. Pretty busy all day. Stayed busy, yeah. Plant wasn't too busy today. Parking yeah, lot's there kind were, of dwindled down a little The bit. parking lot dwindled down quite a bit when I showed up to pick you up I'll today. I was going to be a lot today, but... Uh, yeah. I was shocked there weren't yeah. that many people there when I pulled up. We're making waffles because Chase didn't want salad. <laughs> My waffle we are. <laughs> we are making waffles. Actually, this is pretty good. Red Mills buttermilk. I always get the... Uh, mix and then just make it is what we usually do. Chase went in Waffle House, so we get this Waffle House. What are you gonna be, what do you think you'll be doing the rest of the time? Same thing. Same thing. Nozzles, not more well built up. Probably be here for another couple of weeks. Put to the end of the month, I'll put over yeah. the first and then. This is also your first full week now. This will be. How do you feel? I feel great. Great, I'm tired. <laughs> All sore, one week in the books. You don't know when your when your day off will be though. Know. It'll be this week. They're gonna do that, but it's not tomorrow, obviously. I think there'll be a big layoff coming here here by about two three days. Oh really? Yeah. Hopefully, Chase said he'll get me pictures, so yeah, you actually get to see because a lot yeah. of these places you can't. I take close ups of myself. Yeah. Or direct work. Yeah, kind of that's fine. A, you know, that's fine. But nuclear, I won't even. I won't no. Even. No, you can't. They're pretty. Unless you're right up against yeah. it. And there's nothing, no systems yeah. or anything behind you. Or... So I know like with some people who do a lot of these like travel ready. jobs. Yeah, these two are ready. People will, are able to share more of what they do and stuff. With Chase's job, you can't really do that. It's not really feasible. So, but if you just have any questions, mm -hmm. leave them below. Yeah. Or oh, message right. me on Instagram Ooh, at Sparks and Rec. You're good. Or we have Facebook now. I'm trying a bit better with, because I know some of y'all don't have Instagram. So we do have a Facebook page. So just message us on one of those two and we can help you out because I know this is very niche with the welding stuff, but at least we'll be able to have pictures. I was shocked. I wasn't expecting pictures, but. I should have took some today, but I'll get some tomorrow. It's okay. This job's really yeah. straightforward. It's nothing, nothing exciting, nothing crazy. Just hard work and grunt work, really. It's. Oh shoot, I think I put too much in there. But this is pretty much what our life in looks evening, like. A day in the life. Or? Yeah, majority of the time. I would say like 70% of the time. Well, I mean, we did take a good chunk of time off, but this yeah. year, but I would say most of the time, this is what our life looks like. You go to work either. Yeah, I really like this one. Found it at Walmart. Chase goes to work. I take care of random stuff, whatever. I didn't get to any cleaning today like I wanted to because I was editing the video. So I think tomorrow I'm gonna try to get some more cleaning stuff done. So I wanna clean the windows, scrub down the shower yeah, and stuff. Really clean, but yeah, I can do, do that tomorrow. That's pretty much what our life looks like. I know every RV is gonna be different, but we also wanna be very realistic on what our life looks like. We're gonna eat dinner. We don't stay up very late. Literally, we'll, as we're finished eating, showers and bed. So anyway, if you like this super realistic day in the life video, please like and subscribe and leave a comment if you have any questions. If you like this enough, we'll start making more realistic game life videos. So anyway, we will see y'all, see y'all next week. Bye. Kine. You saw mouth. But yeah, you're still alive, you're still alive? Yeah. Okay.
how many viewers we have. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, it's it's 